Hello guys and welcome to the Music Empire and bless God for another day. In today's lesson, we are coming to do something special. We are not coming to learn a song, but we are coming to take a look at an element in a song. Uh, basically, that is the progressions. And okay, so we are coming to take a look at a 736 progression that I played in the You Deserve the, you deserve the Glory cover by Juanita Bynum. Yes, and this is it. You can check it out on the cover playlist. I will also leave the link in the description below for you to check that song out. Yes, and I'm doing this because a lot of you asked me to break down that song. But there are a lot of technical stuff in the song. I was just imagining how long that, that lesson would be. That's why I haven't broken it down yet. So I've decided to take a portion, a certain 736 that I played in that song and share it with you guys. So let's get started. Now we will be in the key of B for this song. So let's quickly take a look at the major scale for B. Okay, so B is the one, and then C sharp is the two, E flat is your three, and then uh, E is your four. Then F sharp becomes your five, and then G sharp or A flat becomes your six, and then the A sharp or B flat becomes your seven to the one. So it's now if you know you can't really flow properly in the key of B, it is an opportunity for you to up your game in the key of B. Okay. So normally a seven three six will always go like you see, oh there are lots of variations of seven three six, right? Yes. And I decided to make this one a little bit special. And then we'll break it down. So I did. Okay. So let me go over it again slowly. Yeah. That, that's the 736 I played. And that part that I just made you listen to it. Okay. So first of all, let me show you how I even came up with this 736 in the first place. Well, instead of looking at the progression itself, like, no, I decided to look at it melodically, okay? So, uh, what I did was, I formed a melody, and then I used that melody to create a 736 chord, okay? So, the melody I formed was... Uh, It has the, the melody in itself doesn't make sense, right? So once again, the melody was okay. So the melody itself was from the flat six to the six, then to the one, then to four, three. Okay, so flat six. Yeah, so to the one, to the four, three, and then we come to six flat seven seven so actually the flat seven and the seven is like this okay so the flat seven so this melody these three melodies those are the actual seven three six and then the rest are seven as passing notes or passing chords to the seven three six as well but i classify all of them as a seven three six okay so what i did was Okay, so let's take a look at what I did carefully, and then we, 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 we I will show you how I apply this, and then you deserve the glory, right? And then we will take another song and then put it inside the game. Okay, so basically the chord I started was with was on the one, right on the one, uh, and this is the chord I have on the one, a B thirteenth chord. Now, which is what the B on my left hand, and then on my right hand I have the flat seven or the E, the E flat. A flat, right? Yeah. Now there's a one chord. So why did I start on the one? Because uh, if you take a look at the use of the glory song, right? You're on the one. Before we go to the uh, seven, three, six, you're on the one. So I'm still on the one, but I play the thirteenth chord on the one instead. But how did I play this thirteenth? How did I play this thirteenth chord? So I didn't just get up and play the one like that, but 
went, I, I, I did something wonderful here. So I did a chromatic walk from the C to the E flat. And then on the, on the 13th chord, I played the, this is B, right? So I played the B flat 13th chord to the B 13th. So basically, this is how I would play the 13th chord. I will add a 3 to it. But since I was doing a rootless uh, uh, play, I omitted this B note. So it was left with this. So bear in mind that this is still a B 13th chord. Right? If you understand the concept of uh, rootless voices, we know that we don't play the root or we don't add the root, the root to it itself. So I did the work. So let's take a look at the right hand. So, so I didn't play the B13 switch away. So I started from its predecessor and put it that way, which is the B flat 13th chord. So the B13. So at the B flat 13th chord, I have the, the A flat or the 6, and then the flat 3, and the flat 6. To our B flat 13th chord that I've played several times. So the work plus the chord will be. Uh, so, so, and then we, we, we do our work. Now, if I should add the bass note to it, then it should be like this. Okay. That's the actual bass note, so. Yeah. But we are doing a ruthless version, so. So from here, I added the rest of the melody straight, which is, you remember? So we have actually assigned chords to these two. Now we will just play the melody like that. So, okay. So let's, let's go again. So after doing this, just ignore the chord and then come and do your melodies. Now, notice that I'm doing these melodies with, with my last two fingers, okay, so that I can play the rest of the chords comfortably. So, then I come to the seven, the actual seven itself, and then the seven is what's on the B flat, right? The seven in the key of B is a B flat, so it is a B flat minor seventh chord. And then, so I have the B flat on my, I have a B flat, F, and then A flat on my left hand, and I have a C sharp major chord. D flat major chord on my right hand. Okay, so basically, one way that I, I always try to find ways to make my play very simple, especially when I want to transfer them to the rest of the keys. So take a look at this carefully. Now the C sharp note is, a, is what a two, right? So it's like a two major over the seven. So if I can go to any key. I just say C. That was my two D, right? So the two major over the seven, this. You see? So I've formed the seven right now. I can go to let's say F F sharp. How do I form that same chord there? It's a two major. The two is what? Uh, a flat so an A flat major chord over the seven. And then I add my six to it over here. Okay. So I've formed that same seven in the key of F sharp. Okay. That's how I learned the key is very fast, like I find a way to read or interpret what I'm doing in different keys and this helps me a lot so you can put that into practice. So the chord that we are playing is what? Basically a 2 major on my right hand and then a 7 with an added 6 on my left hand and then now you can omit this one, the flat, flat 5, you can omit it, so I don't know. So that's what you have on the 7 and then on the 3. Really like this now for this chord I wouldn't play it like this I can't even play it now for this for this chord that there, there's a trick to it you see we can all play this chord and then we are done but there's a difference with in what I'm doing now let me show what I'm doing so on my left hand instead of uh, in, on my left hand what I normally do is what I play the three and then the flat six I play the three and the flat six. I don't play together, but I do this. And then on my right hand, it's just an A major chord, right? But 
I do a slide from the E flat note to the E note. So it's like this. And this is very, very, very easy to do. You see? Now, these little, little stuffs that we do actually makes a lot of impression on, on the people listening. Okay, so. So this is how it sounds. So they don't just do. Look at how I played my six. Let's take a look at the six first, and I'll show you how I played it. So on the six, I have the the, the an A flat minor ninth. You see, this is a B flat minor seventh. Okay, an A flat. So on the six, I have an A flat minor ninth, which is the A flat, B flat, F sharp. Or the six, three, five. And then on my right hand, I have the B major seventh itself. Okay, so you see, you can easily transfer this chord. To every key, you see, you have the one. The B is the one, right? So the one major seventh over the six, and then you have got yourself a new six chord. So I can come to E flat. How do I play the E flat? I I just have to construct a one, the E flat major seventh chord over the six, and then how do I construct the same chord in the key of F? I just have to play an F major seventh on the one major seventh over the six. You see, I can do it in any key at all. So it's a one major seventh. Over the six in the key of B flat. So in all we have now instead of playing like this, I can do. You see, there's a, so there's a grace note, but this time I won't intentionally do this. I can do this, but no. You see, this has its own feel, and then this has its own feel. So listen, like listen to this one carefully. There are times where I will do this. And then there are times where I'll do this. Okay, so this time for, for this chord, I prefer to do. Okay, I, I don't I don't want to do brown, but I just want to do. Okay. So yeah, so try and do it. And if you can't do it, it's, it's not really uh, compulsory. You just have to do this. The most important thing is the chord itself. So now let's combine everything together slowly. Sorry. Okay, very good. So this is the seventh lesson we are learning now. How did I put it in the song? Let's take a look at the song carefully. Then you see, so right over there I have the seventh lesson. Right over there I have the seventh lesson. Indiana. So. Uh, Is where we make the calculation and then we put it inside right so let's see um, so it's all about the space that you have between the one to the six so we have the so weight so that that space that we have okay now let's try and put it inside so pay uh, pay pay attention here It, 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 it automatically fills that space. You don't have to waste time. Let's go again. Sorry. So let's go again. You see, it fills the space automatically. And now, if you're not careful, you may you may make a mistake with your calculation. That's why I said this is an advanced lesson. So, so. Uh, So where can we put this same thing again? Let's see. Let's see. The, let's, see. Let, let, let's take a look at the chorus aspect. So, so you see, we, all, we also have a seven three six here, right? Seven. So let's see how we can calculate and put it there. So. Then 
then it fits in there perfectly so you have to study the timing very well the, the length in the gap between uh, um, uh, that note you are playing to the six that gap inside in this case it's always the one mm. to the six right assuming we don't have a seven and a three it's always a one to the six that's gap in there then you calculate so Okay, so now let's forget about this song and then take a look at another song. Now I want to, I want us to use a very simple song like uh, uh, "We Give You Glory, Lord." You are wonderful, right? So, uh, now a lot of people prefer to do even on the way, second "We Give You Glory, Lord." They still prefer to go to the one. But I prefer to do it this way. As one well again. I prefer to go to the six. Okay, so a lot of people prefer to play it the one, but I prefer to do it this way. to come to the six or oh, sometimes I even go to the six okay so that we give you glory Lord the second we give you glory Lord ends up on the six now do you think we can put this one there or not so let's take a look at it Now, if you were singing in your head, you will see that it's matched perfectly. So let's go again. perfectly over there and then um and then now let's take a look at a song like bow down and worship him right so okay so six so let's see how we can apply it in this song so Also applied it there which means that this weekend will be a very interesting weekend because you have this to work on and then put it in other songs and then you have even a bigger assignment to play it in uh, other keys take your time and then play it in other keys as well okay so by god's grace this is a melody that i i felt like i can i can create a progression around it and then use it uh, when i was doing the you deserve the glory okay and then i think it worked and you can clearly see that it works in so many songs as well so on this note if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and then turn on your notifications and also i will still want to remind you that our 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 local 
intensive Ghana worship uh, course is almost about to be unveiled. Okay, so like I always keep saying, stay tuned and anticipate, and it will surely come. Okay, so on this note, God richly bless you. I hope the quotes that you have learned here will be put into proper use, and God will give you the knowledge to expand more on even this little thing that we have done here. So let's meet in our next lesson, God willing.